Yeah, bit of a boom around again. Technical difficulties. This seems to be happening quite a lot lately. But welcome to Fear Horror Discussion and Watch Along. Nice to have you on a board. So uh, get you our copies of uh, Fear Horror uh, ready. I am about to bring our guests on. I'm about to send you all these are emails now, guys, because um, I knew there'd be technical difficulties, so that's why I didn't add you. But it didn't make a difference anyway because we ended up having some technical difficulties. And Do you have your source to watch the show? And uh Ted uh and Ted unfortunately is uh is 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 very upset because of the fireworks. So um what you call it, you might hear him in the background every so often um crying. Unfortunately, the you know uh, the people with fireworks around here don't give a crap about the animals, and so Ted obviously is in the height of it. Now, let me see. Uh, the guests should be all joining us so we will continue we just to make sure we got everybody on board and one more email to send and we should be good we should be good um so uh Right, the last email is always the one that I get stuck on. Hang on. Right, we'll get back to that now in a second. What we'll do is, while we're waiting on the guests to flood in, we will do a few shout-outs in the chat. So we got Lee Anthony Davis uh, joining us. We got the uh, two of the panelists also in the chat. We got Monster Fan, uh, welcome. Uh, we got Geek Union, welcome. Uh, we have got uh, Stuart also, welcome. The Thing King is here as well. Crippling is here as well, welcome. And uh, Bobby uh, D and everybody is arriving. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Just give us a second and we'll start introducing our guests. So, let's do this. Okay, Roy, let's bring on our first guest. Well, he's uh, he lived on Scaro, but he's decided to set down his roots in Scotland. I wouldn't know why he would want to go to Scotland. It's just as bad as Ireland, rain, snow, wind. But we, he's here and he's live with us on the Tardis Zone. It's Scottish Davros. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good, pal. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. This is, um, this is an interesting episode to say the least. 
yeah it's going to be interesting to watch it again because yeah. you know i i'm not a fan of fear horror i do yeah i'm the same over this over this um yeah so let's bring on our next guest i suppose we might as well keep it down so us geeks you know we need a union and no better person to come on than mr geek union himself hello Hello, people. And uh, and saying, is it not your birthday today? Yes, it is. And what an interesting episode to have my birthday on. <laughs> oh, well, see, it's a bit of a tra tradition on the Tardis Zone that, uh, <laughs> that we sing you a happy birthday. So we're about to embarrass you now in a minute. But we're going yeah. to bring on... Uh, is that more fireworks again? Okay, come here, Ted. We're going to bring on our last guest, actually, uh, um one of the guests that um can't make it so um yeah so that's a bit sad really but let's bring on our next guest because he's come a very very long long way he's traveled light years to come here and you know we have finally figured out why he is here you know he he, he has made no <laughs> made no bones about it that he is only here for the boobies. So <laughs> come on. It's the rabbi from another planet. A lot of people think he's crazy, but we love him. He's our <laughs> rabbi. Let's bring him on. And <laughs> yes, yes, I'm here to feed. Feed upon your <laughs> human boobies. <laughs> that I may replenish myself. And get through fear her. <laughs> you know, I, even if he can't put some boobies into fear her, I don't think it's going to make me do it for me. But okay, I'm going to go with the open mind as humanly possible. How are you, sir? Good evening. How are you, Scottish Stavros? Scottish Stavros, I have to ask you, where is the weather worse? Scotland or Scaro? It's got to be a close tie. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I'd still say Scotland, no, to be honest. Well, yeah, at least, at least there's, there's less radioactive fallout, you know. There's less yeah. giant clams, you know, gonna grab you. Yeah. <laughs> Royce, I forgot we got another guest. Mm. Yeah, she she popped out and I forgot she was joining us. I forgot I sent the email because I've, I'm having a boomer mom boomer after boomer moment. <laughs> but uh yeah but let's break scottish davros uh always has a sidekick or is it the other way around we don't know but we have to ask her charlotte tech hates me today for some reason yeah. again oh are we, yeah i know it's happening a lot though i have to be I'm honest I'm I'm now with, just screaming with everybody. i'm even having technical difficulties as well Listen, YouTube, like, get you our act together, you know? Um, I mean, you know, if I'm correct in saying uh, some places uh, are coming out of lockdown, what's your excuse? Can your staff not work from home, no? I mean, really, and if any staff can work remotely, isn't it tech staff, really? Yeah. What, you, yeah, yeah. Can't, you can't Skype each you other? Can't you can't Skype each other. You can't Skype each other. You can't Skype each well, here's the thing. They can't yeah. sort their crap out, but they can def definitely leave posts up on Twitter telling us how they're going to Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they YouTube, they their plates and all of this is rubbish. Yeah. yeah. So welcome, everybody, to the panel. It's nice to have hey, you. Hey. How are you all feeling? Yeah, hey, yeah, okay. That's yeah, good. That's, good. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. So before we start this uh, story, just briefly... Uh, when you watched it the All first right. time, uh, how bad was this story for some of you guys, or how good was it? It might have been good for some of you. Uh, I think a lot of people know uh, where I stand on it, so I'll I'll leave my opinion out of this because you already know I'm it not. Was a... Instantly awful for me, right? It was. It had. It was. It, it wasn't. Yeah, it's not awful. It's meh. It's deeply <sighs> meh for me. You know, I'm like eh. Is that sort of like, like, I would, yeah. Well, as I say, David Tennant's getting a bit meh for me right now. I'm really looking forward to getting, getting into the Martha season, which is when I think yeah. he's much better. Yeah, you because know, there, well, there was this thing on he's screen so right the video guy today about Martha. Sorry. Charlotte, sorry, what did you say? 
shift in his feet, you could tell. I think so. Tennant was still finding his feet. It was like by the time we got to finale. Yeah, I think so. He was a little bit too loose. Like I much preferred him in the next year from the next season on. You know, uh, and anyway, again, I just really like the Martha season. I like the Martha season. I like the Donna season. I actually think yeah. this is the weakest season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in a, yeah, in a lot of ways, so it just gets better and better from here. So, yeah, and, and I think I this is probably one of the weakest episodes in the week, weakest season. This was, I didn't think it was as weak as the long game was. Right, I wasn't as disappointed in it as that. But it's just, a, it's just an episode where I would always like, yeah, no, I'd, I'd rather watch something else. That's fair enough, uh, Daniel. Um, even as a um, um, even as a kid, I hated that stuff. Um, this story and um, the singing bits actually um actually make me cringe. And like the and the guy that says "council" over and over again, I just wanted to punch in the face. So and say, "Shut up and stop saying council." She just took a council axe from town to town, and now she's digging up a council road. I'm yeah. reporting you to the council. Yeah. Right, lads, it's time, and uh, ladies, it's time for us to embarrass uh, Geek Union now with our uh, rendition of Hello. Hello, Charlotte. Happy, you go? happy Birthday. Yeah, she's having some te technical difficulties. Uh, listen, Charlotte, uh, we'll bring you back on. If you if, if you need to rebuild your computer or stuff or whatever you need to do, we'll wait for you. Don't worry about that. Um, if you want to see if you can get it sorted, because yeah, you yeah, I tell you, it's it's uh, it's happening to everybody. But uh, lads, uh, yeah. I suppose Charlotte dodged the bullet there because she doesn't have to sing Happy Birthday. So. Uh, I think it's only fair because we did it to you, Rabbi. I got sang, uh, someone, you all sang me happy birthday. So it's only fair that Geek Union gets the same treatment as us all on this channel. So who's with yeah. me? Yeah, I'm one with you. Right, are you ready? Yes, one, we are. Harmonize. Two, three. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yeah, see, it's not really that good, is it? Oh, yeah, dude. Thank you very much. That was very nice. You're welcome. Hip hip hooray. What year? Quarter of a century? Yes, quarter of a century old. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's only a baby. I remember being that young. Yeah, man. Well, we bring Charlotte back now, and I say Charlotte is absolutely delighted she she dodged that bullet. Oh, did, did I miss the singing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll do it again if you want to join in. Yeah, we can do another round. Right, let's oh. go. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Happy birthday, to you. 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 <laughs> that's good enough for me, Noel. That's good enough for me. Uh, I'm 25. So, if there's ever a panelist on and it's your birthday, the best thing to do is not tell us, or you'll get the same treatment as us all. Uh, yeah. Cool. Become I was married one year when I was 25. Blimey. Oh Ooh. man. There you go, my. Do you want to hear something creepy? <laughs> uh, well, why not? You, I mean, you're the, the <laughs> king of cringe. All okay. right, so, so my wife is like a total Jewish mother, right? Like a yeah. total Jewish mother. And, and I just, I was upstairs getting coffee before I came downstairs. I was like, what, what are you doing? And she's looking at this, this thing called a shidduch, which is like a, a matchmaker, like dating yeah. matchmaker. She's tr And she's going through profiles of guys she wants to set my, my daughter up with. I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah. And the funny thing is, this daughter would like, is like, yeah, fine, just find somebody for me. Right, but the, the other kids will be like, no. But she's like, but so my my wife is uh, it's just trawling 
That's all of these guys. It's so creepy. So there you go. So I'm kind of happy to come down and watch uh, watch uh, Fear Her. Yeah. Actually, just treat just... it. Go ahead, uh, uh, Charlotte. No, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, you just have to treat this episode with no seriousness and just find it like this farcical thing and it's a lot more fun. I don't know. Like, I felt that way about Love and Monsters. This one just feels like it's supposed to be uh, more than it is. You know, it's like... I just, I, you know, this is. I thought, the, I thought the whole Olympic thing was just cringe. Yeah, yeah. I just did like him lighting the torch. I just thought it was cringe. I know, but they kind of did that because they had only won. They had only won the bid for the Olympics. So right, that's and that's it's funny because it was in the future. Right, but it was made up in the future. That's... Now it's in the past. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's typical Britain because I mean. Britain, they like the the pomp and, and the circus of it all. So when they won the bid, yeah. they were proud that they won it. So any chance to insert it in a TV show or right. uh, that back when Russell T. Davis was, was, was uh, patriotic, oh, is he patriotic. Not the Olympic part that I mind, I just find the whole. St- I just find the whole Chloe Webber situation. I mean, she's one of the most annoying kids. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah, if an alien entity is going to bond with anybody, maybe somebody who's not really creepy. Yeah, yeah. I'll go this here. I'll go to anybody else who's normal. Yeah, but the concept of the scribble creature and all that was great. That I like was that. Great. That was good. That was good, like that. that if they had went down that route, no problem. But no, it had to be, you know, this girl. Her daddy wasn't too good to her when she was a kid, and you know this lonely alien, you know, finds yeah, this. Like, it's, it's just a bit naff. Yeah, and I love yeah. Chloe Webber and blah blah blah, and then the stupid song, and yeah, it just the end is good though because you know there's a little sweet moment between the doctor and Rose, and he looks up into the sky, and he and then the tone changes, and he says. There's something in the. I think he says something in the air, or there's something coming. Yeah, and there's, right. there's, there's something, there's something coming. coming. Yeah, and the end of that thread, the end of this episode is actually quite good. I like the end, of, the end of it with Rose and the but the yeah. rest of it is just yeah. The granny is good in it at the start. See, it starts off good. You see all these yeah. kids, and you know you think it's going to be a great story. It's not irredeemably bad. You know. No, it's not. It's not. Look, look. I think I'm like you, Rabbi. Though I think Love of Monsters. You know, Love of Monsters knew what it was, and right, when I didn't it, like Love of Monsters. It's so yeah. silly. But this, this, I don't think it knows what it wanted to do. It could have went one way or the other. Like you had two stories within the the one story that he was trying to tell. You could have went with the scribble creature. The girl somehow controls them, but not have the alien. En- you could have the alien entity, but not have it. It's just there because our dad was bad. Now, listen, this happened during the RTD's era, right? So we kind of dismissed it because, you know, it was RTD's era. It wasn't all. Yeah, about- listen, we, we, we'll give him a pass. I mean, like, yeah. Really, like, how, yeah. Listen, you can have a naff episode or two when you've done all that. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, he, certainly did, he certainly did in this season. I think he had three bad bad stories in this season, to be quite honest with you. Which, which, which uh, ones were they? Uh, you had uh, the Idiot's Latin. Uh, right. Uh, we had this one. And uh, I have to say, I did not like the second part of, of uh, this finale. Oh, yeah. yeah. Too much yeah. romance. I didn't, honestly, I didn't really like the Cybermail story either. Uh, yeah. In fairness, yeah, the fourth part's not not. Which one? Well, are they the two parter? Right, but I just even when, even when the Cybermen came out in the second part, I thought I thought it was weak as well. All right. Well, we all have our different. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, so all it's all it's really hard 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 hard. Hard. Hasn't been great. I mean, okay, this yeah. is we've had. Okay, we had um, uh, New Earth, which was okay. Then, yeah. then it got a really good role with um, well, the, um, school reunion, tough and claw, but tough and claw. Then it's school reunion. All yeah. right, all right, right. And they were all good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, and then it was uh, was a girl, a girl in in the fireplace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. 
And so yeah, and so we we had a good little run there. Then I thought the uh, the Simon story was a bit. Meh. I didn't mind uh, uh, Idiot's Lantern, and I really liked the yeah. the Uku parter. And Love yeah. and Monsters, I thought was goofy, and this like, this is kind of crap. And yeah, the okay. I, I don't really remember the season finale. <laughs> I thought the Cybermen should be take out more Daleks, right? I don't think yeah. the Daleks are so much more superior as the Cybermen. Yeah, yeah I they agree. like one sided. Yeah, I. I mean, listen, if uh, Egyptian soldiers can take out a Dalek, or Roman soldiers can take out, which they have, yeah. like, With Cybermen should be able to, even the primitive Cybermen. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, my thoughts on that. Uh, anybody, uh, any, anything else on this episode? Uh, I do like the line of where the doctor drops that he was a father once. Yeah, but it is kind of like a throwaway line, which yeah, I'm not overly keen on. Yeah, but that's how you need to do on. it. That's uh, how yeah. I prefer it. If it's like a little drop, and then they just don't even acknowledge it and move on, that's the way I think. Yeah, like the uh, like they, 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 they dropped like Androzani in one of the uh, uh, Christmas special. It was the only thing interesting about Christmas special. There was one with like the 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 Madge, what her name was, and for flying in the plane. Yeah, two one. Um, I think it was uh, the Doctor Widden wardrobe, I believe. Yeah, so I yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Actually, you know what? Yeah, the, the, just before I, I, I came on, I was watching uh, uh, Talons of uh, Wing, uh, Wing Chiang on the yeah, season. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Really good. It's really, really good. So, um, the uh, uh, so. so um, it was, it was the last, like, Hinchcliffe um, uh, Robert Holmes story. And do you know what they should have done? I realized this would have been really, really cool. If they commissioned them to, them to do an adult drama, like, Robert Holmes would write it and Hinchcliffe would, uh, would produce it. Like, six part, anything you want. Like, something really genuinely scary, aim, you know, aimed at Grodo. And you could do, yeah, anything they want. Uh, we've got a 10 pound super chat uh, from Derek. Uh, get yourself and Cheryl. Uh, or get a drink for yourself and Cheryl when the pandemic is over. That's very decent of you. Thank you very much, Derek. Really appreciate the super chat. And uh, yeah, we would definitely be drinking a lot after this. Yeah. That's what you Irish are good at. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, not all. Well. Let's not bad at it. Let me be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you all, you, and basically everybody beat. Be, the further south you get, the weaker drinkers you get. Yeah. Although well, I tell you, reason. This, well, what? I was gonna say there's a reason we, we as northerners, say soft southerners. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why I, I left to another country. Like yeah, any special forces. Yeah, okay, that I, I feel safe now. <laughs> yeah. Right, everybody, get ready. I'm just about ready myself. I'm just getting the final touches uh, ready. Uh, I think this, if you're watching it on Netflix as well, I think this just goes straight into the episode. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the BBC logo comes up real quick and then it goes straight in. So that's the part that I'm on. Uh, zero, 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 zero. So mark zero. Yeah. We'll start now in a minute. We'll just give everybody a about five minutes. Yeah, just, I, just, I minutes love go. that it was, it was when they did it, it was six years in the future. And they yeah. predicted 2012 quite well, I think. And well, it's now yeah. eight years in the past. Yeah. The, the, the thing about it is actually, you know, when when Britain got it, when the UK actually won the rights to the Olympics, we were like, ah, oh, here we go again, man. They'll never, they'll never stop talking about this. They'll be, be like, oh, look at how great we are. But I have to be honest, I watched that Olympic ceremony from the start to finish, and it was spectacular. They really oh, did. Well, that James Bond yeah. in it. How much better can you bloody get? James Bond they, in the they, they really, they yeah, really went all out. Was so cool. They really went all out, they did. It was, it was actually great. Oh, actually, oh, the their Olympic the team didn't do too bad either, actually. Little. Yeah, they didn't do too bad winning gold medals left, right, and centre. They were, but that's what happens when you get home advantage. You kind of right. get, get all infused. Yeah, that's it. 
So, yeah, maybe one day we'll get to host the Olympics. <laughs> is, is, is there another Olympics? What's the next Olympics coming up? Uh, um, uh, I don't um, know. Um, oh, no, I think I it's coming Okay. No, they just put it forward a year. They didn't cancel yeah, it. Cool. Oh, they, oh, forward a year. That's not happening. The Olympics are never happening again. I don't know why everybody thinks all these things are going to happen again. Really, it, honestly, who cares? You know, the, uh, here's my impression of the Olympics. Oh, look, they moved up to who and everything I like so I can watch somebody swim. You know, like, oh, right. Well, yeah, I, don't care. Fairness, I, I like the Olympics, especially when there's like always not like because I it's like to I celebrate like your country. You know, especially if you win a medal, your flag is up there with yeah. the rest of the world. It's 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 national pride, I think. You know, I think that's why most people look at I'm not a you nobody is a huge fan of the Olympics. We find a fucking bard, but we all sit up and we watch it. Um, especially yeah. in Ireland and England, I can tell you that for, for a fact. Everybody watches the Olympics, even though they hate it, because they, they just want to see their fellow countrymen and women do well. These people have uh, all their lives, but they've worked hard. Yeah. So, they so, work hard, so you, know, I, 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 you know, it is boring. Listen, Javelin, what the fuck is Javelin? Like, I know. Listen, thank you for all the you know what I mean? yeah. Don't get it, but it's, a, it's something that wins them a medal. And they work hard for it. So, you know, it's not like when you're in school nowadays, you get a participation medal for coming last. You know, <laughs> yeah. peckers, you come four, second and third. If you come last, you're a loser. End of. And that's the way life should be because then it'll spur those kids on to bleed and actually do better. So they, they're not a loser. Or, 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 you know, if they don't, or they're not spurred on to, uh, to do better, they'll just get used to being a loser and they won't cry about it all the time. Either no, way, I'm not a bit harsh now, but yeah, I either agree. way, we get a quieter life. I suppose, <laughs> you know, I suppose there's a lot all of the JWs, they're all like freaking out because they're, they're, they're like they're losing, yeah. and uh, and you know, like really, who who taught, taught, told you you're gonna win everything? Dingling, snowflake, yeah, uh, reality is very hard when it hits you in the face. Uh, yeah. well, so. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Really? Um, I said, um, I said, oh, background. Yeah, I've been, I've been learning little things, learning little things. Actually, yeah. Lee's been working on something very special for him, uh, for himself, and and he sent me a brief little preview, uh, and it's trippy as as hell. Um, still some great, great uh stuff. I have to be honest. Uh, it's looking good, it's looking good, pal. I can't wait. Well, I love your intro. I love how trippy your intro is. Yeah, who's intro, mine? It's, it's so cool. Yeah, it's good. It's good intro. Yeah, hey, it's yeah. Brilliant. Uh, you put a, a sixteen days, man. So you put a lot of hard work into that. Um, I love it, yeah. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the very start of the stream, but that's been happening a lot lately. I don't know what the yeah. crap is on. That's why I add just after the fact, because I do think if I do that, I might actually get away with it, but no, keeps happening. Keeps oh, happening. no, you don't. You won't with me about, mate. I'll just be your, your little, like, curse. That It will just go <laughs> wrong, tech-wise. <laughs> uh, so Lee has his quiz tonight, by the way, folks. Um, oh, cool. What time? Well, right after this? Uh, well, Lee, if you let everybody know in the chat there uh, when your quiz, when you're actually putting your quiz up and when it starts, uh, Rabbi uh, might be still up because we only do, we only, we do the episode. I don't be your time now. I'm in bed, mate. <laughs> we're off. Actually, Rabbi, do you want to do the competition before or after? I, I, I mean, I mean, uh, I am easy either way, and I have good news for everybody, including you, Noel. Oh. All the packages are packaged up and ready to go. They're hey. going out tomorrow. Nice. At last, everybody hey. like there's been people waiting since before co uh, COVID, right? And it's going out tomorrow, and uh, everybody apart from uh, last week's winner, because. Uh, um, I haven't heard back from their, their their address yet. By the way, that reminds me. I'm trying to work out this. I was going through everything. I'm I think sure I have to start at some point. Carnival of Monsters. If you won Carnival of Monsters, let me know because I don't know why I still have this. 
So uh, maybe a bit of an own goal there. But... Yeah, by the way, uh, this one's going to make Noel's intro uh, look amateur. Thanks very wow. much. Wow. The guy oh, wow. that made me title sequence is telling me that it's going to make mine look... That's that's one way to kind of like, you know, boost me channel. Thanks very much. <laughs> Appreciate it's that. I'm going to email now. All hail problem beans. I know he's no shame. You're you you are now suspended off this panel for two weeks for your <laughs> behavior. And if you don't update my title sequence to the way you've updated yours, then I don't want then you're fired. You're <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 laughing, but I'm being serious. <laughs> If you do not update my title sequence, yeah, it's more sexy, you're out of here. More Perry. We want more Perry, that title sequence, baby. Here, here's the thing, though. I mean, do you know what the thing about it is? No, when he did mine, he was obviously a learning curve with the, with, with this, this, this software that he's using. So the fact that he's improved, that's brilliant. And listen, I love my title sequence. Okay, listen, listen. This, this this is what what you have to do, right? Add into the title sequence this this little extra thing where the TARDIS has turned into a car, right? And Perry has to wash it really slowly, on the <laughs> side. right? For some reason, that's what we need in slow motion. And you wonder why she probably hasn't responded to that email, Rabbi. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. listen. Yeah. 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 I'm really, yeah. like, you know, yeah. I don't understand. Rick all their heads. You know, what? when you do the sequence, when the tar when you know when there's that little gap before the when the tar goes down the tunnel, <laughs> you could put my face there, like the doctors, you know. The wait, 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 wait. You can put your face you there. Perry, or Perry washing the car. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that would be better, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, he's gone. He's gone to to where uh, he's gone. He's not gone to a happy place when he leaves this world. Oh, I think I am. I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of Perry's. Happier than you expect it to be. <laughs> It'll be full of Perry's at will. Full of Perry's. Oh, like, yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh, that'd be very annoying. I think, really, you're like, oh, oh. yeah, because you know what they say: too much of so, too much of something can be bad for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that this isn't heaven. This is hell. I'll be like, oh, okay, I guess it's my part. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as I said, um, you better update my new time vortex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on you, Lee. I'm keeping an eye on you. I'm keeping an eye on you. I'll take my time vortex started. That's it. You know what I mean? That's it. Oh, do you know what you could do now that you have the hang of it? You've got the intro. You could do an outro. Instead of me using the same one as an, out an outro, you could actually do an outro. There you go. Keep you busy. <laughs> well, I'm not, yeah, but obviously your your paid work takes precedent over art. And I've asked you to do like you know how many asked you to do. If you've got the time. If you haven't, I understand. Problem being, in the chat well, says, uh, if you don't do it, you're never coming on this panel again. You're done. You're brown, <laughs> bread, mate. brown bread. It's it never happened. You won't be getting hoard out on this channel anymore. Done. Your days of prostituting on this channel will be over. I, I think I miss those streams, but I'd be <laughs> intrigued to see them. <laughs> <laughs> now, he says he holds himself out all the time, yeah? So I'm saying he won't be able to do that. Ah, someone would like Teddy in at the start. I actually agree with uh, that one. If that was possible, I wouldn't Ooh. mind having Teddy in if that was possible but that's going to be extremely difficult there's no you way be quick with the I'll camera. take all my horror and elsewhere yeah we'll go ahead <laughs> I'll do though I'll say I, I will discredit you I'll do what all all good youtubers do when when the they're bell. when they're uh, when their friends uh, uh torn that back from them. you don't stand me in the back league I couldn't <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, give, me the master. Give me the master role. 
Here, just want a master, a new master. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. no I, 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 uh, let's, see, let's see what Rabbi. I want to show, I show the, 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 the thumb I posted today. Right, let's I, see. I'm always proud of my thumbs. <laughs> That's what I really like. Actually, uh, they they always get some criticism off the uh, off all the accounts on Twitter. They believe I know, it's great. They love them too. So what's this one? BBC license fee probably to end in 30 days. Will Disney or CBS be the next to fall? A rabbi from an upper holler. Oh, but, but I'm so stunning and brave. Now, there's nothing stunning and brave about Miss See, Gross This is what's there. going on. Oh, well, well, the the happened, the right? I don't care. She's a scrunch face. She's a crap actress. She's way over her head in the role. She should never be. She should never have been given it. And if you have a problem with that opinion or you think it's a hey video, who gives a flying crap? YouTube's not going to do art and about it. So cry all you want. Oh, yeah, we're not going to get a replay. That was crazy. Anyway, anyway. It's not getting much promotion and they're promoting uh, 10 all the time. Well, the reason why they're promoting 10 all the time is because 10 is actually popular. Jodie Whittaker isn't. And the thing is, is that BBC had to throw that shit out two seasons of that show because it was made and they had to throw it out and they've got contracts to honour. They don't actually back this crap. They've lost faith with this crap. Doctor Who magazine's down the pan. Seven million households have walked away. What more proof do you need? Right? The show's on its last leg. Yeah, Stop no, they, they still, no, they still need more proof. They still don't they believe you. Still for ruining the chance of the first female doctor, which he did. He did not give Jodie Whittaker the tools to actually go and do the role, and she didn't actually do the, the required uh, bloody uh, the required uh, research to actually get this role right. So the two of them are incompetent little fools, yeah. Contracts were signed. That's the only reason why BBC are flogging this, because if you had their way, trust me, they'd be gone by now. So he's wanted an answer to your question. The answer to your question is the reason why he isn't getting much promotion is they'd rather promote Ten because he's more popular and you haven't even you haven't even seen the promotion for number nine yet, right? Number nine is oh, going to be, be huge. Hello, of because it's the first time he's back since two thousand and five. And if you think it's bad for Time Lord Victorious, it's gonna be even worse again. Jody Whitaker's not gonna get a look in. She's not gonna get a look in because nobody likes her era except a few little idiots. And, and you know what? No, no, but by the time uh nine comes out, we'll have seen Revolution of the Dalek, which you know what that exactly. means? Yeah. It means more people will hate this Doctor Who. Exactly. That's what yeah. They don't get yeah. fans, they get they get people walking away. So anyway, yeah. listen, I just wanted to explain to you the little premise of this, right? It's the it's the doctor, and she's at last night at the proms, and her plans have been thwarted. Era is very happy and singing Land of Hope and Glory and waving flags because they, they, they love England so much and patriotism. But she's like and she's like, What's going on? I tried to tell everybody the right thing to do, but nobody's following me, but I'm I'm so stunning and brave. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah, that's the story of it. So and brave that nobody can actually stand her era of Doctor Who. So stunning and brave that when a cancer patient came up to the the doctor, she basically said, "I'm socially awkward." In this uh, series, the master also committed genocide. And uh, she is not written like a woman. She never has been. And when she is written, she's written, as Rabbi has said, like an incompetent idiot. Because that's what she is. She's a fool. She's written that way. And, you know, it's not fair. We had how many minutes of uh, uh, Joe Martin? We had, uh, I think, five minutes of Joe Martin as the doctor. And she did more in five minutes than Jodie Whittaker did in two years. In yeah. two bloody years. I'll argue there. If I don't answer your questions, little J-Bots, well, then nothing will. And yes, I've gone back to calling you little J-Bots because that's exactly what you are. You are a bunch of bots. You don't actually support Doctor Who and never have supported Doctor Who. All you support is the fact that there's a woman now, the Doctor, or a vagina, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, it's always about sex with you idiots. You know, it's not about the story. It never will be. And you could take a clip of this and you could throw it up on Twitter. All you's like, I don't give a flying fuck. All you's are is little J-bots and that's all you's will ever be. And as soon as this era is over, 
can't wait until half of you piss off because most of you will because you won't uh, be able to deal with what's coming your way uh, when this all ends. We're going to be kicking you out. We will we'll be doing what you did to us. When you say you are leaving, we're going to make sure that you live. We're going to kick you out the door. You aren't welcome in this fandom. You are not Hoovians, never have been Hoovians because you are the, you are, our conduct has been unbecoming of a Hoovian. You are an absolute disgrace and you will always be a disgrace because you always have an agenda. Even last night, Mr. Tardis reviews couldn't help himself. He used the death of an actor that died to have a go with fans on this side of the fandom because he is a scumbag. Because he is a scumbag. Because he will use anything to try and discredit this side. Just like all the other little scumbags on the other side. That's what you are. J-Bot little scumbags. Morons. Idiots. Whatever you want. There's all you are liable, as you said. It's not liable, you idiots, when you, when it's actually fact. You are all morons. Right? You supported this. The show now is on its last legs. Thanks to you fucking idiots. Yeah, if he's had any common sense, right, he could see all the evidence in front of you. are even asking the right questions, but you are looking the wrong places for the answers. I'm giving you the answers. Chris Chibnall has screwed over your precious Jodie Whittaker. He has not written her well, but she has screwed herself up as well for all the things that she has said and for not doing the proper research and actually coming out and being nice to the fans. All right, that's your answer. All right. Now, come out now and start doing the right thing and complaining to the BBC and Chris Chibnall and saying, how dare you? How dare you shortchange Jodie Whittaker's doctor? Because that's exactly what he did. But you morons won't see that because, no, because you put someone in that's LGBTQ plus for 20 seconds and shoot them off and that's good enough for you. He'll insert characters from different backgrounds but that's okay he put people in that have so-called disabilities but they never actually use it but that's okay because once he puts all and clicks all these boxes and ticks them all you are all happy you ain't fans you will never be fucking fans because it's not about the story and never has been with you morons Open his eyes. I'm done with my rant. Now let's watch a Doctor Who that I actually can't stand. But I will tell you one thing about this story here, Fair Whore. It's still better than anything that we got in season 11 and 12. And I can tell you that for a fact. Right? I detest the two ears. And he keeps saying, well, oh yeah, here's the new one. If you haven't been a fan uh, since Peter Capaldi, well then you're not really a fan then of Doctor Who. Right, listen up, you little moron. The people that didn't like Peter Capaldi were the younger fans. Even the BBC acknowledged after two youngish doctors, you replace you replace those two young doctors with an older actor, it was always going to suffer. Yes, it was nothing to do with the long-term fans because the long-term fans actually defend and love Peter Capaldi, you morons. It's you, you ageist bunch of fucking idiots that actually hate Peter Capaldi, all right? We've defended Peter Capaldi's era from day one. We've watched him. We love him. He was our last doctor. How dare you fucking idiots say that we didn't like Peter Capaldi? We loved him. He was our doctor. He was our last doctor. It was a, a man that got screwed over, right? To be replaced by a bleeding, heartless, heartless idiot, right? An agenda-driven female, right? That does not give a flying crap about Doctor Who, right? Every other actor that has played Doctor Who, including Matt Smith, after he did his research, became a fan. Every person that played the role of the Doctor had some connection to the show some way or another or knew about it. It was close to their hearts as soon as they took that role and it was something that they cherished. This woman does not cherish Doctor Who. Her fans do not cherish Doctor Who and never will. They never will. I am, you know what, uh, this Chris, this special that's coming up, I hope it's the final nail in the coffin because it needs a final nail in the coffin. This cannot go continue on any further uh, under Chris Chibnall or, 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 
star, Jodie Whittaker, and the regime at the BBC must be taken down. It must be torn down and, 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 and rebuilt. And you know what? 30 days can't come quick enough, Rabbi. Right, days. right. Actually, I was going to tell you, there, there's, quite, there's quite a bit, bit of hope there. Right, because this is the start of BBC's downfall if this happens. And I pray, right, and I don't pray that often, right, because as you know, I kind of, I'm a bit hypocritical. I pray in really moments of when I'm... I'm really, Every human being yeah, does right? that. So I, I pray that in 30 days' time there's at least movement or, or they changed it because I tell you... Wait till you see the floodgates open, people. Wait well, till you well, see the no, no, what, 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 what I think is going to happen is this. They're going to decriminalize. Because this is the month they're gonna, they've are come up with their recommendation on what to do with the BBC. So I, I think because, because of the last night, the prom, proms, the whole thing with that, where people went yeah. crazy, out going crazy, added on to the over 75s uh, losing their free t uh, uh, TV license. They're going to just, um, make decriminalize not playing your, your TV license. Which means the BBC can't really do anything other than we'll send you a stern letter and say they're yeah. very cross with you. Which means yeah. they're, 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 at that point they have to become a subscription service. Yeah. Sorry about the rant, but uh, it was due. I haven't had one in a couple of weeks. And it's been the behavior of these idiots on Twitter and the kind of propaganda stuff that they're trolling up. Listen, as I said, you can believe it or not, right? You can call me all the names you want, right? At the end of the day, this area is not popular. And if you just can't open your eyes to that and you have super glue keeping your eyes closed, then I can't help you anymore, right? What you are actually doing is they're helping in the destruction of if, uh, an over 50-year-old franchise. And I hope you are ashamed of yourselves because you should be. And Mr. Tardis reviews you above all as well should be more ashamed than the rest of them for what you did last night and your recent weeks of post anyway with all your propaganda there wasn't the time to be using the death of chadwick boseman to have a, a go at fans you really are a scumbag and i don't care calling you out anymore you really are yeah and you really need to actually take a step back and actually look at the damage that you're doing by all your posts when you're going around uh freely calling everybody bigger how dare you you have no right you have no right. And who who makes you who who makes you the person that can go around labeling person? You ain't the Twitter police. See all these accounts, they think they're something they have the moral high ground. You don't have the moral high ground here, you twat. You're actually on the wrong side of history anyway, you twat. And you'll soon realize that when all of this goes belly up, because I can't wait for November either, because you know, people are all expecting a certain result uh from the left. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you now, you are all gonna be surprised. They're all going to be surprised, and that's when all the hell is going to break loose. So, you know, listen, you're a scumbag. The fact that you did use that poor man um, who's a true hero, who didn't cry like a little bitch, uh, had cancer, went visit kids and did movies, right? Not once did he cry. That's a hero. That's someone you look up to, yeah? And that's someone who I respect and would look up to. They were still around today, unfortunately, they're not with us anymore. But that's the type of person, that's the type of man that other young men out there should strive to be. Someone that, you know, that that's a true, he didn't complain. He went and he did what he had to do. He still worked and provided for his, for whoever, right, himself or his family, whatever, and then went and, and got his treatment and went visit kids and did all the other stuff that he did. Not once did he cry and say, Look at me! Be right to me! Or out like that. Right? Not once did he moan like a little bitch. So get up off your computer screen, you little twat, and actually do something worthwhile with your life, yeah? Before you go around judging others and calling others bigots, sexist, racist, homophobes, transphobic, whatever word, buzzword you come out with. Do you know what you can do with all those buzzwords, yeah? Shove them right down your, the back of your throat, mate, until they come out the other side of your ass, because all you do is talk shit anyway. Talk. Well said. They're all a bunch yeah. of assholes. You really are. Inside of the fandom, does it? I'm not saying we're innocent. I'm not saying there's people out there engaging in horrible behaviour. And if you are, you're a disgusting, vile human being. And you shouldn't be going and attacking people personally. Right? It's as simple as that. Right? Everybody's entitled to opinion. You might, be, you might like a J-Bot's opinion about uh, this series. 
right? But they're still entitled to that. The only time that, and we keep saying this, the only time I ever go after anybody is when they when they come after me. And still, they're still doing it. They're still doing it because they don't learn. They're obsessed. And they will never stop. And and, and you know what? Even after Jodie Whittaker goes, a few, few of them will hang on for a while, but they'll eventually go. But they, they, but no, no, actually, some of them will stay on and then they will resort or they will then do what we do. Uh, listen, I think if uh, something like, like, like Lil Nas X becomes a doctor, really go pretty quickly. Or, uh, well, if they might have justification, we never know. The next doctor could be crap. <laughs> None of us know that. But if the next doctor did turn out to be good and turned out to be a man, let's just say, they will deliberately criticise. Right? They blame us for deliberately criticise. No. You look at her serious. You look at her acting. That's what we're criticising. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. I can guarantee if the next doctor is not good enough either, we will come out and we'll say he or she is not good enough. That's the way it goes in fandom. Yeah? Uh, Jodie Whittaker, just because she has a vagina, does not mean that she is immune from criticism. Especially after she comes out with stupid statements, like about the white male gays and about women sitting in corners. And then she did that whole breaking of the glass ceiling video. Then she did the stylist video. The list goes on of all the stupid things that that woman has done, said and done. Right? Where was her, her, where was her uh, PR team? Where were they to say, uh, listen, Jody, do you think you should uh, change the rhetoric a bit? You're kind of alienating half of the fucking fandom with your words. No, they, 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 they all thought it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, they're all on her side when it came. Yeah, comes stunning to and brave, me arse. Stunning and brave. I've met some stunning and brave women. Real stunning and brave women. Um, I'm married to one. Every day that woman wakes mm -hmm. up in constant pain, 24-7 because of her disability. And not once does she ever complain. And this pain is unbearable, by the way. She, she you know, she doesn't have the... The, the 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 strong American painkillers that she had um, over there. She has the weak ass Irish ones here, and they don't work. She's in constant pain all the time. That's stunning and brave. That's brave. Every day she wakes up, you know, and she feels like crap because she our body is in so much pain, and she gets up and she gets on with our day. Right? That's stunning and brave. This on this screen, this isn't stunning and brave. She's done absolutely nothing to justify that. So don't talk to me about stunning and brave women. I I have I know a lot of stunning and brave women. Even my mother is stunning and brave for the stuff that she went through through her whole life. So don't talk this woman, no way. Don't talk to me about stunning and brave. You just haven't got a bloody clue of it. If you say a stunning and brave woman, you just, you just wouldn't know. Is wouldn't know because this is what she's are told is stunning and brave. Super A, all of the Captain Marvel, all of these characters. That's not they're not stunning and brave. None of those women are stunning and brave. All they are is weak minded, insecure uh feminists, right? That have nothing better to do than to make the rest of us all fucking miserable. Well, I'm done letting them uh, make us all miserable. I want the smile on my face, I want that escapism. And I will, like the rest of us, uh, will eventually get our way. Because Hollywood and the rest of the idiots now that are pandering to the small vocal minority, they will soon come to the realisation, which they are starting to slowly but surely, be, but because of all this crap now, we're in for another year or two, I say. But if it hadn't happened, none of this had happened, they were already copping on. Joker was the first step. Joker, the Joker movie was the four step, but unfortunately, as I said, uh, events happened and now we could be set back another year or two. Right, I'm done with re rant. So if anybody else wants to add that, and because we usually start after an hour anyway, um, and yeah, a round of applause for Cheryl. Yeah, you're right, Chris. All that hail, seriously, man. All hail, Cheryl. Yep, definitely all hail. She's a bloody, she's a bloody legend. She's a legend. Love her to bits. Um, you know, it annoys me when I see women like this here being classed as stunning and brave. They don't know what stunning and brave is. And by the way, on top of all that pain as well, um, she also has Ryan's disability on top of that and other stuff to go with it. So uh, you can imagine, you know, uh, what Cheryl's days are like. And 
she never complains. She bruises all the time, like, you know, she's got bruises all up and falling over and stuff and banging into things. And, you know, but not once does she ever complain. So don't talk to me about this woman being stunning and brave because, as I said, you wouldn't know, you J Bots wouldn't know what a stunning and brave woman is, right? This is what she's being told is, and that is unfair to all of those women out there, uh, past and the ones that are to come, women to come, strong women to come in the in the future. If if we haven't screwed up society that much, and there actually is still a few out there, because this isn't what a stunning and brave woman looks like. You have the wrong impression, and it's uh, it's actually sad. And I'm done. Okay. <laughs> you've, you've said that about three times, but we'll... No, we'll I'm, done done. Yeah. I'm done. Uh, but I'm going to remove the offending <laughs> image. There you go. No, hey. I'm done. I'm done, but... I'm done. But thank you for listening. Dr. Dave's in the chat. I'll distract myself then. Dr. Dave is in the chat. Welcome. Uh, we've also got Super John. Super John. Darren. Bill the cat. Ooh. And he says, don't sugarcoat it now. Tell us how you read it. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on Matthew Pounder. <laughs> Welcome. And if I have forgotten anybody, let me know. Chris is here anyway. Lucy is here as well. Uh, problem uh, being, no, have, have, uh, have you seen this uh PDF that was put out recently about the Blackpool uh, uh exhibition? About the what, what, what exhibition? The, the, doc, the Doctor Who exhibition in Blackpool. Oh, for that, uh, the yeah, that's that. been getting shared around for free stuff, isn't it? It's freaking incredible. I'm going through it right now. They got to do a print version, they can really? do a print version so easily. I didn't, I, 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 I think it's. I'm, I, saying, I'm saying they can do a print version very easily. No, right. the PDF. They just got to design the uh, uh, the spine. I'll do it for them. I can get it set up for them really easily. This is this is a fantastic piece of work. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You got to see this thing. It's got all their like fat like it's like their journey through fandoms through the years as well. So it's like all their like rem uh, reminiscences, like the fan art from the time. So cool. That's dead. It's really nice. It's just really, really nice. Who's the guy? The guys that if, if guys uh, go go and uh, uh, look for it on. Uh, I found it on Twitter. It's really good. <coughs> they got so much stuff in. They got like, uh, oh, wow, they got That's seven. Oh, I'm checking me messages, Lee. Calm that back down. I already commented on your video. What are you sending me now? <laughs> there, I, I said that was fantastic. What else do you want me to write? You haven't written anything else. <laughs> what what, what are you giving out to me for? You're, that's it now, man. Five minutes. <laughs> of in the, in the safe, what the, no, the, no, it's not a safe space. What did you call it when you put kids? The naughty step. Get over yeah. there for three minutes. <laughs> Don't stand in the corner. Yeah. I already read it. He's not you. need to check your messages. Yeah. Blah. Yeah, by the way, very impressive. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I've seen his time vortex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he, he, yeah, yeah. I, I'm saying no more. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, say the yeah. more you say that word, the more weird it's going to be. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing me Moriarty kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're in trouble now, Lee. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're going to be swimming with the fishes later. <laughs> Roy, are we ready to go? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right, over. we're going to do this episode. We're going to give a brief uh, rating, uh, a brief review each uh, rating, and then Rabbi is going to do his competition. Rabbi, now, uh, just to let you know, uh, just to remind you, actually, um, that it's Cheryl's birthday next Saturday, so we've moved the classic watch along to Sunday and the new Who one to Monday. Right, no problem. And then Saturday, we're off. Right. Yeah, Saturday we have the day off. Well, well, 
I have the day off, but I'm sure you will entertain them all on, on Saturday. Oh, I think I want to take the day off as well. It sounds Why good. Why not? Take the day off, man. Get get fresh and we'll be all fresh for Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Right. So we'll be taking a day off and, and you know, I'll be drunk anyway. The loads of cocktails and, you know, more cocktails. And, you know, we're going out for dinner, but my dinner will be cocktails and maybe a chip. Uh, the Cheryl's will be... Cheryl's will be filled, but then it'll be two cocktails, but she'll drink one and say, oh, you drink the rest of my cocktails. And then I end up about, about drinking about 14 cocktails. And then I end up, yeah, yeah. That's how it usually works. Sounds like a perfect evening. Yeah, it does actually. Because Cher- when we go out, she tries all these different ones, right? But in America, obviously, they do the cocktail better because um, when she goes, when she there's only one or two that she's like here. But every time she orders one here and she thinks it's going to be a certain way, she'll take a sip and say, oh, I don't like that here. You have it. And she'll go and order another one. But I'll drink her one on top of my one. So I end up getting rather sozzled. Uh, yeah. After, uh, yeah. 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 You've got to I, introduce I, her into like local drinks. Like get, get her a snake <laughs> bite of black. Like yeah. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I used to be a bit, not a bit of a drinker, because that would suggest I was an alcoholic. I was never an alcoholic, like, never depended on alcohol. But I used to be able to down around 50 and 20 points a night. Okay, dude, 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 that, that, that's a lot of beer. Okay, 50, 20 points a night? Yeah. Seriously? I, 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 okay, I, okay, fine. I'm on, like, four, and I'm, like, in bed crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When I drank a whole bottle of whiskey on the stream, oh, yeah, yeah I drank the whole bottle of whiskey on the stream. Now, yeah, I, I remember that. Actually. I how I kept it together near the end because <sighs> then when I turned off, when I said to you guys I was leaving and I turned off, Cheryl asked me to put on the oven and I put the oven on, and the smell of the oven tore my stomach, so the head starts spinning. Oh, <laughs> I literally went into the room, forgot about the oven. Luckily, Cheryl was sober, and, and I fell asleep. I was out cold. I just like that was it. So I don't recommend drinking a bottle of whiskey. Um, not not very good for your for your uh, for your. Uh, uh, listen, look. Last time I drank a bo- bottle of whiskey, you know, I uh, uh, I blew chunks. Which uh, <laughs> which isn't so, isn't so bad until you find out the chunks is the name of my dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, let's, let's, let's uh, ladies. Sorry, I forgot there's ladies on the channel as well. Yeah. How dare you talk to me? They are diverse on this channel. You see, hashtag cancel. Me. Uh, by the way, it's not for forced diversity because I've always had a woman on this panel or in the phone ends. Uh, apparently, I'm sexist, you know. If I was so sexist, I wouldn't have so many women on because, like, listen, if I was sexist, trust me, and a woman was talking, I would, like, yeah, what are you drowning on about? Oh, if you tried that with me, mate, I would tell you, Daniel will say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've told like, him you know, time. Well, that's the point I tried to make, but I'm not. Sure, sure, I don't imagine you would drone on. You know, it's like you. I can't imagine you asking to see, uh, go to see I, human resources. You if know? anybody drowns on, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, let's start, Raboy. Do your okay. Are we ready? ready? Let's get I would like. I was someone else like the honor this week. Well, uh, like Charlotte, right? I let, didn't yeah. know you were going to say that. Right, let's start. Yeah, let's the, let the lady of the panel do the countdown. So, what what we started from five, yeah. I love how I've got no choice in this. Uh, no. <laughs> right. Then if, if Daniel oh, wants me to do the countdown, yeah. then that's the way it goes, you know? It's all right. I'll get him back later on Messenger. Right, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Teddy, you went into a very proper accent there, Charlotte. I told you I can be half posh when it suits. I mean, me. I was like, uh, all of a sudden you're a 1950s BBC announcer. Well, I well, told you I'm a hybrid. I can be well, really posh. I have to say, oh. that is a nice little housing estate. It is yeah. good music. Murray Gold doing us proud. Yeah. 
God, the music nowadays is awful. Yeah. I've I seen an article earlier on when I was um I was looking through articles and someone actually brings that up why the why uh oh, the the tomorrow, any good the music. yeah they were criticizing the music and yeah listen I'm not saying the composer is a bad composer but they're they're clearly picking the wrong music yeah, yeah. I'm saying he's a bad composer you know, like I like a bit of a tune rather than a. Especially when you hear fan stuff, it's like, wow, that's just blowing it out of the water. Listen, yeah. I, like most people in the current production, he was hard because of his skin color or ethnicity. And for RTD to have the to, to have the British flags in an episode of Doctor Who. Well, you know, again, this is back when RTD was super patriotic. Yeah. I think he still loves being British. I, don't, I think he probably is. is. I think he probably is. But, you know, the whole, like, I, and listen, they've all gone crazy, haven't they? Anybody. I don't like, any of those morons anymore. Even people with their, 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 you know, get away, right? I mean, look, it get over you yourselves. What are you offended for? Nobody else was until you idiots all start getting offended. Uh, the rest of us have just got on with our lives, like, oh, there she is. Your favorite character, no. <laughs> it's the yeah, blue no song. favorite character. Song. She just keeps singing the same song over and over. Can you not change it up? Like, I hate that song. That annoys me. Wait, what, what, so, what are we talking about? I was watching the episode. Um, yeah, Kookaburra. Chloe Weber. Oh, I mean, she could have sang Papa Don't Preach or something, you know. Yeah. I, 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 I don't imagine this being popular. That, that's not going to have like an eerie, uh, you know, ominous tone. There's the title sequence. I love yeah, that. It's a, yeah, it's a nice title sequence. It's very do, nostalgic. Yeah, I started with zero, 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 zero. So I let the BBC ad come in, and then it went straight. So, so apparently, it. yeah, the guy who wrote this, Matthew Graham, the guy who did uh, Life on Mars, right? Yeah. yeah. Apparently written, was it, uh, how many, uh, 6, 12, 18, I don't know, 2, 4, 6, 18. Like 100 episodes of this Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Bounty Hunter TV show that never got yeah. made. Oh, the Boba Fett one? Yeah. He, he apparently yeah. written like 50 or 100 episodes of it. How come uh, and how come it never get rushed? To drown out the banger. Oh, is it working? No, do you not hear them barking? Yeah, I heard them barking. <laughs> that was Club Med. Love yeah. it. It's okay, buddy. Come here. The bangers won't get you. Come here, buddy. It's okay, little fella. Don't, don't be getting... See, the idea of missing kids, if it was like an actual scary monster, I think would work really well in a, in a Who episode. Yeah. Like a proper mystery of kids going missing and the doctor yeah, right. has to find out what's behind uh, it. And um, yeah, I... I tell you, I posted the, the link on, on Facebook for this watch along, and someone just wrote, Crap! <laughs> yeah. I know it's not everybody's favourite, but I'd rather do this than you know, stay on the course, as we said. Yeah. And, you know, it might be my favourite, but there are some elements of like again, Rose is very clever in this though. Yeah. You know, she she kind of figures like she did with the uh the idiots Latin. Um she figured that out quite quick enough as well. But they were sort of doing this almost police thing, like they were two police like a partnership, weren't they? Yeah. With them for a couple of episodes. Oh, and he's council man. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, this scene now I hate, but it's funny at the same time because it's like you're you're now picking up an axe, hitting the axe with a uh, council axe with the council roll, and I'm like, okay, you don't have to keep saying council. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same thing when they do when when Bill was telling us that she was a lesbian. Like, every uh, yeah. second, like it's the same here with this, like saying council every we get it. You want to get the council's name into Doctor Who. You don't have to do it every two seconds. <laughs> See, I didn't. I don't always complain about Jody with Gazira. <laughs> Morons. Don't give them air, oh. mate. Just don't. Ah, it's grand. I don't mind. I like a bit of fun once in a while, Charlotte. I know, but they, they, my thing right now is that they're, they're finally in the sort of acceptance stage, but because of what they're like, that means they have to have a massive hissy fit. Yeah, I know, but it's lovely watching them. <laughs> I have to say it is. They're, they are they're actually complaining left, right and centre, and they know what's coming. They just, you're yeah, right. It's, it's a slow reality is sinking in now, and they're lashing out. Billy Piper looks well here. Yeah. She looks horrible now. It's the yeah. age, you see. Um, yeah, someone, sure. said, someone says she's mad into the Botox now and her face doesn't move anymore, which would be a shame. Yeah. Because I don't, I, being honest, I, I, she didn't need that and done. And um, yeah, she, and um, yeah, she, was she bad to the kimchi was that it's okay, all right. I think she got no I think she did get nicer she got older, obviously. Oh, well, well, now, yeah. now like I mean this is the hold on, where I'll show you the latest photograph of Billy Piper now. Right. Oh uh, Rabbi, yeah. it's a show, it's called I Hate Susie on Sky. Is yeah, the latest what? thing she's done. What the oh, hell really? was I Hate Susie? That's yeah, uh, Cheryl, Cheryl is watching us. She said she said she likes it, but I wouldn't like it because she knows what I'm. Uh, she knows what I'm like. But this I, is what I'm trying to look at. Are you guys watching the, 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 this episode? There's something that would never happen now. Okay, so the guy, the, 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 there's a black guy, right? Right, and right. Is saying, is saying that oh, we we don't want your kind in the road all the time. Yeah. And he wasn't talking about skin color. I was just talking about all, how they're always working on the road, not having finished yet. Yeah, they're all crazy. But that's the thing, that was a clever way of highlighting it because she was actually talking about them digging in the road, as you said. It wasn't a racist slur. Exactly. Mm. But they can't, they, they, you know, the idiots, they can't get that in their heads. No, they're you like, wouldn't. Yes, you're right. They always they're, think about it. looks like this now. I thought I shared it. Okay, that's not a fair picture of a. Uh... What do you mean? That's not a fair picture, picture of her. She is sort of doing a really good picture. picture. That's the picture of yeah. Billy Piper now. Hey, what do you want, Billy Piper, twenty twenty? She looks like a younger version of Anne Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kelly. You got to remember, she's she's what now? She's in her late thirties now, I think, isn't she? So, like, I mean, she's yeah, yeah. Know, she's again, that's very flattering. Yeah, Rabbi, she's not the young Billy Piper that we remember I back in two thousand four. She has a weird smile. Okay, she's developed a, like a Joker-like smile. That much I mean. I'm, lo I'm looking at pictures of her right now. It's not that as well. When she does interviews, it's kind of quite funny because in some interviews she'll deliver. Yeah, again, and then she's good. Then. And, and then, then in, the in, 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 or in the same interview, her accent will slip and she'll talk normally. Just talk normally. You know, we yeah. get you are from a council estate, whatever. Nobody gives a shit. You made good of yourself. Yeah. You, you went and you and you did your thing. And you're loved by millions of people. Yeah. Just do your thing. But Cheryl is watching I Hate Susie. This is as far as you are. Yeah, because we always talk an hour beforehand. Well, the neighbors are banging and upsetting him, so he's doing All right, no problem. By the way, you see when they turn the TV on or the the, uh, the computer on or iPlayer? That was, they yeah. didn't have that at the time. That was yeah. a futuristic thing. 
Yeah, a fair point. Looking at all the drawings, though, I do think it would be brilliant if we had an episode that was like started in the real world and then because of alien or monster, they went into like a draw, like a purely illustrated or some sort of cartoony world. I yeah, would love that. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, because um, and yeah, because that would have been a lot better, I think, for the episode. Oh yeah, like she she yeah. made them. Yeah, that actually would be a cool way to do this episode, wouldn't it? Like yeah. she kidnaps them both, and they end up being in like the the drawn universe sort of thing. Yeah, this is just one weird kid. Chloe, this is just a weird kid. Yeah, she is a little weird one, all right. Yeah, I tell you, honestly, I just didn't really warm up to him this season, David Tennant. Yeah, he gets, and he gets, he gets, he gets, he gets, he gets yeah, gets like on. next season, I prefer him a, a lot more when he's like flesh as well. By the way, if yeah. they're going to do a David Tennant crossover, you know, the, the one they, I mean, if they're going to do a Tom Baker crossover, you know, it'll be awesome. And they should, again, this is, they should, really they can do it. Peter Capaldi, Tom Baker. Because yeah. Tom Baker's cock clocking on, yeah, and it's not, and there's not that much time left. So I, 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 I think Capaldi would love to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got plenty of other work though at the moment. He doesn't need who. If that uh, doesn't yeah. like need it, but I think he he would want it. Yeah. Yeah, but I would, and I would actually buy that. I'd, Till we buy that audio, rather. Oh, we better have the best bit of the episode. Yeah, do it, Matt. It's actually come up. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell you what, there must be a pretty big cat she's thinking is behind that door. Yeah. I tell you, it's a, uh, it's a nice estate they're on, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I love the fact that somebody's literally just left their garage open. Like, not even yeah. locked. That somebody can literally just open the door. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind. I'm this really, scribble I creature know. was deadly looking. I thought, oh, this is actually getting interesting now. And yeah, this exactly. Look. But it's uh... it makes a cameo appearance and then it's gone. Right, yeah. and it's, it's basically it's, this is where the, the episode is the best. See, this would have been. I'm telling you. I thought yeah. this was interesting. This would have been interesting. Yeah, but this is where the episode goes downhill. Yeah. I mean, it's already got, like, you know, Chloe Webb has been in, and she's like, I'm a weird child actress. <laughs> Here's the question, though. Have they ever had, like, any good young ch children actors in this show? Oh, yeah, let me think. There's been a bunch, actually. The guy that, um, the guy that played um, Tommy in the uh, Adate's Lantern was... Um, no, I mean young, though. I don't mean his age, because yeah. like, he was like in his teens, wasn't he? Yeah. Your point. Um, the guy that... Um, the, um, the boy that... Played um um Jamie and the Empty Child was kind of kiddy weeping with for um for his part Charlotte. Mm. I don't know. I'll give you that actually, because yeah, if he yeah. wasn't creepy, that episode wouldn't have been nowhere near as good, would it? No. You know what there's some weird shots in this episode yeah 
What's she been in this actually? I've seen her in a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, she was also in, in if I'm correct in saying, she was in Sherlock. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I think she was. Oh, was it Torchwood? I keep forgetting. She's in I something that we've seen that. before anyway that's written by either Moffat or... or, or, or I, um, I think it was actually Torchwood. I seem to remember I'm now in a Torchwood episode. I mean, like, isn't that a sign she's a being that's a bit weird? Yeah. Because she's insane. Oh, okay, now so I, you know I think she's the best bit. I think of this episode, this uh, supporting actress. Yeah, she, she has. Oh, the mother is oh, very wow. good in this. It's just the fucking girl. Yeah. Like now, when she's doing a very mum thing of, I'm going to name all the good things she's done at school. Like that's a very mum thing to go. I'm right. just going to both like name all these really nice things before you see exactly. her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's the thing is, this really should have worked. It should be creepy. It is creepy. I just yeah. don't know what's going flat. Maybe it's because the kid is just killing it. I, I know. I think what you said before, there was a lot of ideas chucked in this because you've got to remember, they sort of do an abuse theme in this episode. Yeah, with exactly. Uh, you know, the abuse of father team, yeah. Which I think is handled very well in this, but again, you know, is 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 this the kind of themes that we 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 want to see in Doctor Who, though? You know, or should it be about the, you know, the scribble monster and stuff like that? And you know, they can do other shows to highlight this kind of child abuse. You know, I like, think I mean, you. Doctor, Go ahead, Charlie. Sorry. I was going to say, I think you can do it if you do it from a very human approach of you see how it affects the mother, you see how it affects the daughter, and it is very cheesy, but at the end, I think the message is very clearly you whatever, with abuse or with those sort of family situations, as long as you create a unit and that's what they become at the end, they're, they're very separate, they're sort of skittish around each other, and by the end, they're a proper unit. So I think yeah. that's how it works in this story. Whereas if you just have an episode saying, you're a horrible father for like 40 minutes, it doesn't quite work. I mean, this is, this is the other problem with the episode, they're obviously saving money for the finale right now with the, like, the red light monster. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> They're really, really like counting the effect shots. Ah, uh, do you remember when everybody thought that Chloe Weber was actually the timeless child? Yeah. Was what? that a real thing or was that just a joke? I didn't know no, it was actually real. It actually no. was a joke. They actually did believe that she was the timeless child, that they were showing a younger version and then we we're going to see an older version then. Wow, okay. Because the fact that she was. Uh, possessed by an alien entity, they thought, Well, why would it, uh, it just an ordinary human be possessed by an alien? Ah, it's because they don't watch the show, you know. Look, it's no point to talk. It, it, it says in the episode exactly why, yeah, because she was lonely. That's the whole point of the episode. 
Claw me where Barry I mean, is. Point, she? Like, who are these weird people? Yeah. Yeah, but she let them in the house. Yeah, exactly. I mean, did he even have to show the psychic pipe, or did she literally just let them in? Um. Well. Um. Well. Time. Um. Um. Well. Time. Odds have the power to put some eight people. Shall we? Uh, problem being says I got this child needs serious acting lessons. Yeah, I got it. It's absolutely awful. I think if they actually had got a kid that was half interested, yeah. it would have worked. Maybe I don't, I don't with, know. Uh, young people. Yeah, that, that, that was a bit insensitive, Rose, wasn't it? Yeah. See, I do think David, by this point, had got the I'm going to talk a load of gobbledygook that yeah, he had, in any he other had, act of yeah, crime. I know. I mean, he didn't score reunion. He just got a bit too light and fluffy, I think, in this season. I honestly, yeah. I think losing Rose helped helped his character a lot. Like yeah. giving oh. his character some like weight and gravity. Yeah, I'm a bit get him back, you know. Like the music is good in this. That's Murray Gold, isn't it? I mean, it's uh See, that's what drags you back in is the music. It does. I've always found this music always drags you back in. Uh, oh, yeah, but, yeah, I, I, I don't have those sheets. Uh, yeah, fantastic music again. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, the gold is just absolutely amazing. Um, I see the composer. I think also with having the combination of Russell, who loved people and characters and emotions. And you can tell Murray also loved expressing those things in the music. So you had a perfect combo there. Yeah. And now I am alone. Okay, what's worse, this or Christian Bell's Batman voice? Uh, uh... Yes. Yeah, probably. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah. But you know, it's so weird. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm watching okay. this, and it's got like plenty of diversity, right? Plenty, of, and and like. And you're not noticing it at all because they're not no. screaming about it. They're not going, you no. know, they didn't write a little black girl and a little black mother. No, they, which which is what they would write today. Yeah. They just wrote a mother and daughter relationship. Yeah, um, that's it. Exactly. Relationship. Yeah. Okay, Tennis doing doing a nice job here. I uh, he's winning me over. Yeah. Well, yeah, apparently, but... according to some fans out there, David Tennant, you know, is not as good as Whitaker because uh, he doesn't he doesn't do the childlike and the the the, the serious stuff as well as as Whitaker and uh, wonder and amusement. Really? Oh, oh that's completely oh. BS. Oh, Jesus! That's why yeah, David modern, Tennant wins every modern day poll because he's that unpopular. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I right. know the logic is, is right like, now. Here, here it is. So she's sitting there, she was minding her own business, and she looks at it like a little moron. And then she looks, Oh, look at that. 
Oh, oh, it's gone into me mouth. Oh, now I'm a big bad alien. Loneliness is though. If anybody is lonely though, because it does deal with loneliness. Right. If anybody is lonely. You know, always check on people if you think they're lonely. And if you are lonely, you know, go and give someone a ring. There'll be someone willing to listen. Oh, here we go. Ted's just messing with the remote. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> well done, buddy. Just w right where I needed it. Good man. Is he trying to save you from the episode now? Always rely on him. Well done, Ted. You've 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 done great. <laughs> I'm only messing. You want to sit beside your daddy, don't you? Because you're afraid of all the fireworks. Oh, you're alright. Don't mind them. They're bad. This is just so crap. Yeah, I know, but it was, you know, look at. The next few weeks are not going to be good, but we, we, we've we agreed to do all the seasons, so, you know. Well, it's I mean, Doomsday and, uh, I, thought, I mean, there's a lot good about Doomsday. And, yeah, uh, I mean, next week it yeah. gets a little bit better. And then we get the Martha, Martha Jones season. I'm really up for that. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah. Wow. And there's like one tough episode. I like the season finale in Martha in that, in that season as well, which everybody hates it. Yeah, sure. yeah. See, I like it. I don't like the Dalek two parter in season three, but that's the only the only episodes I actually don't like. I don't mind uh, the Lazarus experiment. I know loads of people have a problem with that because of the CG CGI. Yes, the CGI is crap. It is absolutely rubbish, but the story itself is actually a pretty good story and it links in with the master, as you know. And Gatus is actually not too bad in that episode, I find. And we have a young, a young future Spider-Man in season three. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah but, he, he, but he's trying to be American, and that accent is terrible. Yeah, it is. It is. I have to admit. Right. <laughs> oh, there she is, the stalker child. Not the timeless child, the stalker child. Here's the thing, though. She successfully manages to capture the Doctor, probably better than any Dalek or Davros or any of yeah, the has done. Yeah, exactly. Like, it would have been interesting if she did actually draw a Dalek or something. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, um, but they did with our secret pens, because kids always have secret pencils and dollies, because that's what it's... they do. Here's the thing. If you look at this episode in another light, that's got quite a dodgy connotation, having hidden things in a room that the mum has to find. Yeah. Well, I love the way they 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 are able to shoot this console room, how they moved around it. Yeah, and I love it when, especially, and I think especially in Russell's run, I liked how they always had him doing something physically on the console. Like he didn't just stand around; he physically was always pressing a button or fiddling with something. Like the, doc the doctor would do, I quite like that. Well, that'd be kind of cool if she gets trapped in 2012, like uh, yeah. seven years at a time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it, it, it kills it, doesn't it? One bad performance just sinks. Hor the whole thing. 
horrible acting more than the cat still relates to her. I mean, it's a bless her. It's like she's, I don't want to rank on her, but it's really yeah. killing the episode. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you must Oh, the best part. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Nobody right, on the planet. Yeah, you know how many times, right? Count how many times he actually says council in this whole thing, right? It's funny. Yeah, but nobody on the planet is that proud about tarmac. Right. Like, nobody <laughs> is that proud. Yeah. That's Maybe true. the emphasis is in him. I love the tarmac. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know what he does at home then. <laughs> oh, God. Council oh, recipe. Oh, God. I knew you were going to go there, Charlotte. That's bad. <laughs> well, it's either going to be me or council I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a council van. That's twice. <laughs> they have council, have council van. Council acts. Six, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Eight times he said council. Eight times, yeah. <sighs> yeah. But what's worse, hearing that or Benny? Oh, God. Oh, Benny. Benny. Oh, oh, no. spaceship on the first, so that's nine times they men mentioned council. Yeah, and, and now Chloe's about to draw them all because that's look her. Yeah. Yeah, but look, look at how many people she actually draws. How's that a whole stadium worth? Oh, and now we have Bob coming up in a couple of minutes. That also makes me laugh every time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like random name to pick anyway, isn't it? <laughs> That's R T D for you though. That's you know, it's just like the most dramatic. Not you too, Bob. Yeah, not you <laughs> too, Bob. Okay, probably he's making an interesting point. Compare this to the worst Tom Baker story. What's the worst Tom Baker story? Oh, uh, the Leisure Hive. No, I like the Leisure Hive. <laughs> Got to be a later yeah. one, I guess. I would have to actually say Sharda for me. Really? I like Sharda. Yeah, yeah. Sharda. Get it. I'm going to pull up an episode. No, no, it's still one of those stories that I still, even though like I've watched it loads of times now, Rabbi, thanks to you, I still can't. I don't know. There's just something about I can't get into it. Okay. I just think it's kind of fun. Oh, now she's drawing the, the, the globe now. Oh, we're all screwed now. And, and, and now the ro Rose is doing her best rendition oh, of The look, Shining. She can't even draw Britain properly. You think she'd be able to draw the country that she lives in? Yeah. Oh, there she goes, drawn the United States. Doesn't even look like it. Yeah. Actually, here's the point. Is she stood on a box or something? How did she reach that high? Uh, I think she is standing on something, Charlotte. Yeah. I said that she's got long arms if she hasn't. It needs love. I don't know, maybe... Creature of the Pit, Creature from the Pit is the worst Tom Baker story. State of, State of Decay, I like State of Decay. Yeah, State of Decay is good to enjoy that. I mean, okay, the, the, the most disturbing thing about State of Decay, though, however, is when you see Adric in it, it's clearly, clearly John Nathan's Tur John Nathan Turner's masturbatory fantasy. Yeah. It's like so disturbing when you're like, oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, none of this just works. I'm sorry. Here's the thing why can't the mum let you just go and grab her? 
like try and like grab her arms or something so she can't maybe draw. The alien does something for it, which they never show, showed in this episode. Or maybe she's afraid that the Chloe will draw her and she'll disappear. Uh, that could be yeah. something. I mean, like, I listen. I can see Ross D. Davis saying, "Let's have uh, you know the unity of uh, of the Olympics power the spaceship, right?" And when, I can really see Ross D. Davis coming up with that idea. Oh, thank God! That's I love you. I'm sorry, but this is just cringy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, 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 we're on a bit of pure cringe now. But as opposed to any Jodie episode, which is like super cringe from start to finish, this had bits I mean, in it I could, I could watch. Yeah. It's the power of love. Do, 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 do. The power of love. Yeah, Chris, you are absolutely spot on. Mother, I've gone home. I'm back. Yay. <laughs> and now Rose is going to look all sad because she thinks all the, all the kids are safe, but she doesn't use her logic brain and think that she saved the doctor as well. But no. No problem, you old granny. Now go on. You know, See, if it was any other woman, she, she would slap the doctor when like he comes back and she wouldn't just give him a hug. She'd slap him. And be like, why yeah. did you put yeah, me look, through I mean, that? Honestly, this whole bit is like, oh, we're under running. Nah, but I love this now. No, oh yeah, this part I don't love. Sorry. Yeah, and you, 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 get, um, you get and you start singing that stupid song, which is so cringy. But you wish you had that act but now, though, don't you? Right? Know, the alien is gone, but I can't get out. The door just mysteriously uh, uh, kept closed because we now we have to do the I'm a bad father storyline. <laughs> what was that voice, mate? I don't know. <laughs> I decided to put on some random <laughs> voice. Do you like it, Charlotte? You sound like a computer that's been kicked multiple times and is breaking oh, down. Thank you very much. I, I wasn't really going for that, but you know. Oh, what? they confused, like, Czech what? person or somewhere that from that is, part that of the world. That is absolutely 100% true. <laughs> what in the name of hell was that? Voice? And if you were to ask the J Box, they will tell you that I am crazy. <laughs> Oh, this, this uh, okay, uh, now we just went to super cringe. Oh my god! It's still better than a Jody episode, though, isn't it? Like, even yeah, this, it's yeah. than a jo it still is. Yeah, because I, mean, I still believe this character. Character, You know, like I mean, the mother is not a bad actress. It's just Chloe is not the strong Chloe Weber, the girl that they got to play Chloe Weber. is just not the strongest child actress. But you still have Billy Piper doing her thing. I mean, Councilman is funny. David Tennant's doctor does his thing until he gets captured. You know, it's not, it's not bad. It has good elements, but... It kind of falls flat. Yeah. It, oh, the world is born magically, but we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to carry on as normal and let you live right. as normal, even though the whole world disappeared. Say, I do have me problems with RTD's era. There were some things that he written that were completely stupid and didn't make sense. Same with Moffat. But it's more prevalent with uh, with uh, Chris Chibnall because every single thing that he writes, unfortunately. Ah, uh, look, he's fell now. And now a hero's going to come along. Oh, here he is. Do you remember, yeah, this, though? I when... really hate this bit. I really I hate this bit. I was going to say, though, it was funny because by the time we had the Olympics, it wasn't even David as the doctor anymore. So it was like people were like, is Matt going to do it? Is David going to do it? Because he technically already did in this episode. Yeah, I just hate this bit. <laughs> I just do. Yeah, so do I because he does this all. Oh, look at me. I'm great. Right. Like, yeah, you're the doctor. Calm down.
Yeah, go on. Join your brothers and sisters who fucked off and left you alone in the first place. Not kind, of, not a great family, the unit there. Yep. Okay, I don't know. I'm still trying to find the worst uh, Tom Baker story. I don't well, think yeah, I can. This is my favorite bit now coming up because this this right, is right, right. Going, this kind of the it. tone of this episode completely changes now. Here we go. Right, then you get the big music, and then when he's eating it, and he looks up to the sky, and then that's when the, the shit goes down. Yeah. It is really well done, though. I agree with the doctor on that one. And they're my favourite type of cakes. Anything with chocolate on there, that's me. With dairy cake. cakes, I love them with a bit of ice and sugar and those ball burdens. The doctor is right. Oh, fairy cakes. Oh. Wouldn't it have been great, though, if they had have actually predicted the country that surprised us all because there was a couple of the smaller countries that did. Imagine if he had picked one of those countries and got yeah. it spot on it. It would have made this even sweeter. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. here, this is it. There you go. See, she asked him the line and he didn't answer. Here we get the trailer. Yeah, we'll watch the trailer, yeah. I'm not on the trailer, yeah, just about. Yeah. So this is what we have for you next week. Uh, next Sunday. No, yeah. next Monday, sorry. Yeah, this I'm time. a ghost. I'm Dynasty. I freaking love Jackie Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Get it. Again, this is not my favourite two part of, but the moment with her and P finally me is if that doesn't if that doesn't uh well you up, there's something wrong with you. You're not human because yeah. I do like the Dalek reveal. Yeah, yeah. Like good trailer. The first part's not too bad. It's oh, the yeah, uh, second one. I think is 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 slightly better, but the ending's just way too. Oh, long. I'm just totally into this now. You guys, they got me into it. <laughs> I guarantee you, I'm going to change your opinions like we did a few weeks ago when we thought it was. But I bet you this is going to be better than we realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think mean, you're right. I think mean, you're right. And also. Really? You so next week we start the season finale. Yeah, on the ghost. We would do the two parts together, but that's an hour and a half, and I don't think at every because we already do the classic watch along, and that's an hour and a half yeah, already. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we could do it if we didn't chat. We could just go straight into the two episodes and do the two of them Monday. No, you honestly think waiting. you could do that, no? Well. Do you honestly think you could just do a straight one of, yeah, let's just watch it and not chat for a bit? Yeah, I've done it before. Uh, no, not if we don't chat in the middle. Well. It's chatting before and, and, uh, uh, and in the middle. By the way, there was a bit, bit uh, uh, a little news story I forgot to bring up. It's, it's a minor thing. Do you know how much Piers Wenger earns a year for that terrible job he does? Um, no, no I, I, would, I would reckon, I would reckon, let me see. Uh, so he's not a presenter, so he wouldn't be on millions. I'd say he gets around. I'd say he gets around six or seven hundred thousand a year. Yeah. Okay, Daniel, what do you think? Um, maybe about thirty two grand. Yeah. Thirty two grand. Yeah. So we got well, thirty two and six hundred. Okay. Yeah, grand. Now I'm saying 600 grand. I'm not saying 600 pounds. I'm saying 600 grand. Uh, yeah, I think it gets more than 32 grand. 32 grand a year is like a basic, is a salary that you can't live on. Bro, right, what's he getting? Come on, just right. tell him. I'll tell you. 250,000 a year. He's getting quarter of a million to do that job that he's doing. Yeah, to, uh, uh, to uh, lecture to us. Well, that license fee goes, he might not be getting that much. 
Wow. Uh, he, no, he is, it, was, it was in the, the news article I was reporting. Wow. He doesn't even deserve even a quarter of that. And Jesus. he's like, um, you know, and he's, he's messed up. Did you read the thing about in the mail? It was about how he's saying how we we we, we got to do this right. We're just at the beginning. Multicultural, like everything he's doing is wrong. I know. Okay, this is what the BBC needs to do if they want to have real diversity. You have, you say twenty five percent of your outcome, which is about approximately the percentage of whatever you want to BAME people in, in England. Twenty five percent you get you give to BAME creators, right? And make them be able to be good, be able to. Because, you know, when it's like a black person making a show for black people rather than a white person telling him to, you get two different shows. You get, like, Tyler Perry movies. Tyler Perry movies are just fun and entertaining because it's not full of all these black stereotypes where, you know, these people are, are oppressed and noble. They just have fun people having fun that they recognize, you know, from, you know, their social life. Yeah. You know, when you have a white person making it, you always have like you know, the black person you know, rising up under suffering. It's just oh I can't stand it. Yeah, it's just my my little two pennies. Uh, should we do should we do the competition? Yeah. You okay. yeah get into the competition. So uh, we do have a few scores coming in. So I will throw you our ratings up on the screen as we usually do. And then we'll go around the panel after Rabbi does his competition, announces the winner and all of that. And then we go, and then we'll end it for the night there. But uh, problem being, ha has given this episode a zero, which will probably be the, be the lowest score. Um, well, well yeah, so you're, uh, yeah, you're, definitely, you're, definitely, you're definitely, you're definitely sacked for that. No, no okay, zero. the prize for next week. Now I have my season fourteen Blu-rays. I again get rid of my season fourteen DVDs. So it is. It, with my exclusive cover, but I'll, I'll show, show you the original cover as well. The Talons of Wang Chiang special edition. This little bit here, I'll, I'll show you the, the original cover. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Hang on, I'll take this one out. Well, we've got a couple of fours, a uh, couple of twos. Uh, Talons of Wang Chiang can be yours next week if you are. Well, oh, so what's the uh, what's going to the hashtag be? Uh, hashtag I'm not racist. <laughs> um, it, it should I'm be cancelled, shouldn't it? Should... Hashtag cancelled because of what they tried yeah. to do. Oh hashtag yeah, yellow face. No, no, no. Hashtag Mister Sin. Hashtag Mister Sin. That's what you need to put a comment on any of my videos this week. You have to subscribe. Subscribe. Sorry, Charlie, you the 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 Twitter is on the panel tonight. Uh, and uh, two people are interval are on the panel. Uh, the winner is on the panel side. The winner is a call for the, this week's uh, Judge Dread Prize. Daniel, Daniel, congratulations! Oh, 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 everybody deserves oh. that. It's Daniel. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm 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 congratulations, Daniel! I will get this out tomorrow. I, uh, send me your address right now, uh, yeah. and I. I will get it out tomorrow before you know, so you don't have to wait. You get you get it out in the batch that needs to go out, right? That's going out right now. Thank you. Congratulations, so, Daniel. Daniel. Uh, well deserved. Well deserved, pal. Well deserved. You could review it on a stream, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I might, I, I might actually invite Rabbi on and we'll review with that bad boy. Yeah, I'll well, yeah, yeah. yeah. If Rabbi has a digital copy of it, I, I'm willing to give it a bit of a read. I mean, I mean, you could probably read it over your stream. Actually, that would be an interesting thing to do. I was thinking of doing that myself. You know, I have christopher eccleston's book there and i was thinking of maybe reading a chapter or two a night to people if they would fancy that but i don't know how that would work if he would if i'm allowed actually do that even though yeah, it's my, it's it's it is his it's work or could be something that uh, prevents me from doing that but i'll look into that so you'd have to look into that as well daniel because you know yeah yeah just be careful as well um because you know, some of these people uh, out there, uh, I mean, YouTube copyrights you for put, using a YouTube video that's on YouTube. That's how ridiculous they are. <laughs> well, congratulations. Right, we'll go around. Uh, you doing the, that was this week's winner. This well, and the prize next week again. Talons of Wing Chang Special Edition. Hashtag Mr. Sin. Right, hold on. I'll throw that up now. 
Yeah. I'll put it across the screen, uh, guys. There'll be a banner. Hashtag uh, Mr. Sin it'll be. So hold on. We'll get it up there for you now. And go on and subscribe to his channel. Of course, they will be uh, they will be giving their shout-outs now in a few minutes when they give their uh, ratings. But we will start uh, in order on the panel. Um, and oh, we Don, I'm just taking that. Me. So we'll let Daniel uh, uh, do his uh, review and give his rating. So, Daniel, go ahead, mate. Hold on, I'm just taking my jitters to get over. I All right, we'll come back to you. We'll come yeah. back to you then, and, and, and we'll go with your sidekick or your yeah. horse sidekick. We still haven't figured that out. Charlie, you'll have to tell us who the sidekick is so I know how to introduce you properly. Are you the sidekick or is he the sidekick? Just to annoy you, we're both sidekicks. How about that? Yeah. Right. Well, uh, uh, did I do... Uh, oh, have, was I dispel Mr. Sin with two N's, Rabbi, or one N? I was going to do one. Is it two? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I've got to uh, look it up. Super John has it down as two N's, but do you want that as one N? It looks better with one N. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, look, let me look it up on... Well, I've I've I've, 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 I've mapped it up on the bloody screen there. So, like, I mean, I think it is two ends. I think that's why Super John did it. I think he's already no one end, one end. According to the Radio Times, this okay. right? It's one end. So, it's scrolling across the sc the screen there. Use the right hashtag now because it's not fair if you use a slightly different one. You can't enter the competition. We have to be strict on that, actually. Yeah, because, I, I, I should be a bit... You, know, you have to be strict on it, because people, you know, everybody enters, and it has to be fair for everybody. So it might have been Rabbi's uh, rules, but it is now. Uh, yeah, I um, yeah, uh, yeah, sent you yeah, my address, uh, Rabbi. Good man. Uh, you see, yeah, yeah, I think it just came in. Right, yeah, grand. No I will endeavour to get this better package up in the mail to you tomorrow. Right, we will go with ladies first, though, first. So we will start with Charlotte first. So Charlotte, you you go ahead. You give us your ratings and uh, a brief or uh, brief rundown of what you thought of the episode. Then we'll go to you next, Daniel Geek Union, and then we'll go with Rabbi from another planet. And I'm sure then he'll want to bolt then, and then we'll all head off. Then we'll let you all have you as our shout outs and stuff. Right, so go ahead, Charlotte. Uh, I find this episode so bad it's good in some ways and I just take it as a sort of funny, hilarious episode, but it's not good. So I'd right. give it a four, but I find I get quite a good, a good laugh out of this episode. Fantastic. That is, yeah? Yeah. I mean, there's not much really we can say about it, is there? Daniel, go ahead anyway, mate. Oh, um, it's not going to be very much we can say about this episode tonight. Yeah. <laughs> And um, yeah, I would say I um, um, I would say some good um, elements and concepts, but it kind of does fall far, uh, on its face. So like, and of course, some of the acting from the girl that probably totally with it and the singing is a bit kind of So I have to give this a, and um, I have to give this a, um, yeah. A, Four point five out of um out of um, good elements, but uh, um good, good elements, but the execution was um a bit. Uh. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, I mean, look, everybody knows where I stand on this episode, so I'll just get get mine done and over with. I'm gonna be actually a little bit more kinder to this than I thought I was gonna be. But I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 because the mother's acting wasn't actually bad in it. Uh, as Daniel and many of us have pointed out on the panel, uh, there was some interesting concepts there. It's just, you know, they decided to go a different route than the route that I I, I would have preferred them to go in. But uh, other than that, the, the, the only reason why it gets a discounted uh, mark is because the child actress that they got just didn't engage me. Um, I found the mother engaging and all the other characters engaging, but I just couldn't. I know that's the character that she was playing, but there was nothing about that character that she played that I that I liked at all, even as either a villain or an alien or whatever she was supposed to be. You know what I mean? A possessed little girl. I just didn't like her. I didn't really care that she was possessed. 
So that's the only reason why this gets uh, is, the, is because of her acting and because our character is not great. Because um, the rest of it had interesting concepts, which I would have preferred them to go down. So for me, it's a, as I said, little slightly better than I was going to give it, but definitely uh, better than that. And Whitaker has given us so it's a five out of ten, or did all, I should say, or Whitaker has acted in. Um, I did it for it that way. Uh, so we go on to Geek Union. Fair um. day, buddy. <laughs> Thank you once again. Uh, for me, it'd probably have to be uh, 5.5. I know it's a little high for obviously some people in the chat, but uh, compared to Love and Monsters, I actually used to like this episode when I was a kid watching it for the first time. Uh, but watching it back now, it's not all that great. Um, like people on, ch on the panel have said, uh, were some great interesting concepts, but they just kind of felt... Uh, fell flat uh yeah i'm just waiting for uh, forward to next week <laughs> yeah actually do you know what after seeing that trailer i agree with you yeah i even said a jordan show i actually did get a little bit of excited there actually right. the and i have to be honest this isn't my favorite two part of but i'm i'm being honest with you yeah it, 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 overall i just think the like you know just again, it's the whole drag out of Rose and, and Tennant's kind of story arc. And I'm kind of like, she's gone, just, you know, move on. Both of you move on now. It's done. I'm sorry. Like, you know, you're gone. You know, that's that's the end. We don't need a big do, 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 do. And then crying on the beach. I love you. Well, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait till, till, till you get there to hear you, Phil. Yeah, you never know. I might actually have a different opinion. Start welling up like a little baby. And actually start crying and not well, listen, I, I, I have a very just doctor who my uh, my youngest daughter was little, was how old was she then? She's like 18 now, so yeah. she was quite little, right? And right. she was into it. I used to watch it with my kids, and she was really into it. And when Rose left, she was like crying, and I was like, oh, she was not, she was, she was, you know, it was really cute, so yeah, that was like, well, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I didn't have any emotional reaction of course i did of course i did everybody does it's impossible not to right but the thing about it to me was it was so unnecessary and you know how i feel about a doctor and companion and the romance thing it just doesn't sit well with me and it doesn't matter whether the doctor is straight gay lesbian bisexual or whatever right i just don't like that dynamic and i just thought the whole thing on the beach was a bit pretentious pretentious and I just didn't like. I just. I'm sorry. Again, again, like, again listen. I'm, 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 I did cry. When he does say Rose Tyler at the end, I am gutted for Rose. Of course, I am. Everybody is, but I'm just like, you know, did you really have to do all of that? That's that's me point. Well, I, yeah, that, 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 that was a big debate between uh, Ross Lee Davis, Julie Gardner, and Phil Phil, Phil Collinson on the. When they, they used to put out the podcast with like uh, the the commentary on it, so uh, and they and they 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 disagree on what the doctor's going to say before he vanishes. You know, it's Julie Garden says, "Oh, he says he loves her, right?" But right. Uh, Phil Collinson is, isn't so into it, and Rusty Davis says uh, it's for, for the viewer to decide. Well, interesting. It's so obvious. Listen, he, he's clever. He, he knows what it is. It's not for viewers to decide. He was going to tell Rose Tyler that he loved her, right? And because if it's for fans to decide, then they did the scene then with the parallel doctor where she asks him to finish the line and she kisses him. So she wouldn't have kissed him if he says, well, all I was going to say was your last name. No, he said, I was going to say I love you. So that's why Billy, actually, why Rose Tyler kissed the parallel universe doctor. Because, yeah, so Russell's talking out his ass. Uh, he <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's wait till, 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 uh, till we right, go on, do your rating and, and give your brief review. Right, of this. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a five. Oh, um, there's, a, there's some that worked a lot and didn't work. Sorry, Weber didn't work. There was pure cringe. Uh, for most of the end, 
Uh, the council guy is well, I kind of that, that didn't bother me so much. He's funny, he does have it. I mean, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's a joke thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, the pure, the pure cringe in Chloe Weber makes it into an unworkable episode. Five, five is, I think, fair. Yeah, I think fair. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody's being kind of fair to, right. to be honest with you. Um, everybody is saying around fours or fives. We've had obviously. I knew Lee was going to be the lowest scorer uh, yeah. tonight. And I'm pretty sure if we had him, had him on the panel tonight, he would have had plenty to say about this this story. But you uh, work on your new titles. <laughs> no, no, they're not my titles. He's working on his own titles. And Actually, you better get back to working on your titles. Get, get, get on for a minute. Hold Dude, on get for a minute. Perry in to uh, Rabbi, you know, well Rabbi. Rabbi is a detective. Hang on for a minute. What do you mean you're working on your titles when you're not using your channel? Are, are you? Ooh, are, you uh, are you? Are you? Are you as? Are you right? So this is either two, two, two ways, right? So you're either are really doing it for yourself and you're going to relaunch your channel, or you're doing that work for someone else. Or maybe it's it's doing it for you or maybe but, you are. Yeah, or a third option. Yeah, if that is for me, it's not for my channel, Ari. It's not for your channel, you mean. <laughs> maybe, right, again, yeah, maybe he's animating the, 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 oh, the parents. Oh, right, right. I'll say one just in case it is, and I, I've spoiled the surprise for myself, but I doubt, I think that's the paid work that he's doing for, for someone. Uh, dude, I've got to go to bed. If it is, I'm if it is if I was a paying customer for that, if I was a paying customer for that, I'd be absolutely uh, delighted with that. So keep it up, pal. Um and uh, we will, me and Lee, actually, I'm going to let Rabbi go first and do his, uh, yo, because he wants to go. All right, first, uh, first I'm going to ask you something. I thought Rabbi put a link to a digital copy of that story. If anybody, yeah, no, you got, you, all you got to do is contact me. Contact me and I'll send you the link, okay? Nice one. Right, all let's right. Let, let, let it, I'm going to remove everybody. Nope. Okay. You can tell first. Nope, nope. And then there was one. <laughs> Um, what was he going to say? Yes, please come to my channel, subscribe. I'm getting close to 1,600 subscribers. I'm about 30 people away. So come to my channel, subscribe. We have competitions. We have fun. We have frivolity. Uh, please send me things you want me to take the piss out of, because I really like taking the piss out of things. Um, oh, and also, I think we're going to do a live stream with a anti-comic skater uh, who was kind of like, uh, kind of upset at one of my, my videos. So, uh, uh, but I have to say, when when she uh, when she gave the scathing review on Twitter, it was very it was a very well well written and uh, intelligent and witty uh, series of put downs. So I, I quite like that. So I, I you know I do I I do hope that works out. So I think that's coming up. Um, I think that's I think that's all I have to say. Other than we all know why I'm here, so I can uh, you know recharge myself. Now, I want to, like, just skip out, but I can't because I'm the only person here. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, it was a very interesting episode. Uh, so shout out, I guess. Uh, go and follow us on Twitter at geek underscore union. Uh, check out our channel. We did a chill out stream earlier today, which, to say the least, was a very interesting one. Um, got a couple of streams coming on. Possibly next week, I think. I uh, got a couple of movie reviews. And yeah, just go and check out my channel. You'll see what you can get there, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello, it's me. Um, you'll see me about on Noel's channel. And if you want to listen to me and Paul from Sanctuary of Geeks, we did like a three hour stream during the week. We talked about who, we talked about politics, we natted on about quite a few things. So that's what I've done recently. And another recommendation, if you want to listen to proper Doctor Who again, go to go to Beware's channel and look for series 11 Redux. And it's his episode and he's rewriting everything like Whitaker's never happened. And it's called Clear Skies, the first one, if you want to find it. And I say, have a listen, because I did, and I had the doctor again. So those are my recommendations. Oh, 
uh, how um, how oh, again right so on our cha um on our channel coming up uh um do doing a short stream where we are making announcements and to and tomorrow afternoon at the clock and I'm delighted to announce on the table in teeth of um of um but I'm gonna be doing um a Sarah Jane Adventures discussion of um Bill on it really and so we're finally um so um so I'm um, finally go only get the chance to have um Bill on it on um on my channel on the twenty first of um September to um chat about um to chat about the Sarah Jane adventures. Now that stream will be interesting because I saw the um um I saw every episode on an actual um transmission where there's um Bill on it has um J um it is Bill on it has um J is um or into the series and has enjoyed it and is ill at some point in the near future I will review and I will review the eyes that Rabbi gave me and I might get Charlotte on as well at some point just to chat about Doctor Who episodes we like and maybe chat about some big finish for with like, and maybe do some reviews as well and also as well uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Celtic Daniel Twenty Two, and you can also uh, uh, and you can also join my Facebook group um, and use um, YouTube Hub everybody's old yeah, the we mm, and everybody's on the air like Rabbi Da and from the space big bull bonnet, you name it, but all the air and a few of uh, and a few people in the world I've chat are all the uh, there. It's just um and um, it's just a get up to post all your videos and shitty things that you've got coming. And, and that you got coming up, but also, it's, um, and, but also, it's the audience, no, always with, um, what's in store for all the, um, um, what's in store for all the channels, but subscribe to, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to everybody in the panels channel that was on to, in the night or obviously um and subscribe to all the youtubers that have been on past um streams as well on the as um on obviously the channel but on my channel as well because we could all do over your support because independent voices as well What's um as what's eat eat and is eight oh enough eight to save um and um, to save um up oh sharp but until the end guys take we are and be safe. Well done, Daniel. Uh. <laughs> He got everybody in, and of course himself. Don't forget to check out his channel. I'm back here tomorrow. Um, I will also, at some stage tomorrow, have the lower decks with uh, Lee, because um, we have to continue that. Um, I also do run a Star Trek Voyager group, um, which is doing very well. Um, haven't po now, it's been up for a few years, and I haven't been really paying attention to it, but I've been starting to recently pay attention to it so and it's it's grown uh very well now um 
so I'm delighted about that. So we'll have lower decks, so we because we have to keep the rabble uh happy in the other group. Um, because uh, you know, they're saying, Oh, why, why aren't you doing Star Trek videos? It's always Doctor Who. I put two Doctor Who videos in because we were talking the uh, Star Trek as well, but there you go. Um Chris asked me if I'm back on Friday. I should be, unless uh, you know, unless you have, you know, I'm going to be invited on someone's channel. Then you know, I, I I can keep myself available. But if not, I'm back on Wednesdays, as you all know, and Fridays. Uh, the only day I'm just not streaming is Saturday because it's the beautiful wife's birthday, and we're going to be going out and getting drunk and maybe eating, drunk first and then maybe food. Um, so we'll be doing that. So then on Sunday, as I said, it'll be the classic Who Watch Along. And then on Monday, uh, it'll be the new Who Watch Along. And uh, as I said, uh, in between that as well, myself and Lee uh, each week will have uh, lower decks. I'm also on Twitter uh, at Nolzone. You just know where I am. I anyway, everybody knows where I am. I'm also on Parlor, the third zone. Uh, if you just want to check out Parlor, if you are brave enough. Uh, I'm also, uh, as you know, uh, on uh, YouTube, YouTube uh, F Facebook, uh, the third is on. We've got the classic years and we've got all those uh, other. And did I just see, did I just see someone? Hold on. Wait. That's not him. No, it's not. I thought it was. For a minute there, I just seen a guy that wears the same glasses as a uh, mega geek uh, and the same hairstyle. And for just a split second there, I thought it was actually in on a Coca Cola ad. Um, uh, it's for the UK, so I thought, well, you know, because he's in film and stuff. I actually genuinely thought it was him. Uh, same kind of clothes wears as well. Must be your double ganger. Definitely. But uh yeah, as I said, back here um all 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 week. Uh one chip does not qualify as eating all, nor does the night of drinking. I know it doesn't. Don't worry, I will eat. I will eat. But I'm back here all week. The usual videos, the usual rants. Uh I'm I'm gonna start doing a little bit more. Uh, I keep saying it, but we keep get I keep getting sidetracked because you know I don't like leaving people out when they ask uh when they ask to come on um but i will be doing trying to do a lot more individual streams uh, of my own uh where i'm just talking and ranting away because i know some of you actually missed that so uh and there's plenty for me to be ranting about out there because there's such ridiculous things going on uh it's absolutely uh funny what's going on right let's bring on the uh, guest rabbi has left us Good night, Rabbi. I say good. I said good night. I'll just give these folks bring them in one last time before we say good night. Uh, oh. I'll say good night to you, Scottish Dad Ross. Thanks for joining us all the way from Scotland. Yeah, thank you. And I want to thank the birthday boy himself uh, for joining us. Happy birthday! Thank you very much, Noel. Thank you. No, and thank happy. you, everyone in the chat has wished me a happy birthday as well. Yeah, happy birthday, mate. Thank you, Dino. And Charlotte. Uh, uh, Charlotte here, who, who uh, Daniel is uh, Charlotte's sidekick. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, well, well, thank you for joining us uh, again tonight. I really appreciate having you all on. It's been an absolute honour. Um and I think we're done. So listen, folks, thank you, everybody, uh, in the chat, uh, to the moderators who kept the chat safe for everybody, and to everybody that contributed with a super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I will see you back on this channel tomorrow. So don't forget to join me. And don't forget, as I said, to hit the like, share, subscribe button to every single person. Uh, on the panel and everybody's channel that has been put up on the live chat as well. Right, so I'm going to leave you with me intro, wink, wink. Maybe Lee will do me an outro, wink, wink. Uh, but here it is.
and I do this all the time. I do mention Lee right at the end because if you are looking for anybody to do your channel, uh, to rebrand your channel for you at reasonable prices, do you a little intro video, whatever it is you need, uh, that that kind of uh, work. Uh, Lee is your man, and as I said, he's very reasonable. You know, and he does really uh, put a lot of time and effort, 16 days to create this wonderful uh, uh, video, little intro, outro, if that's what we want. But he might do me an outro, so we'll just call it a little intro, outro for now. Uh, but here it is. Uh, this is Lee's work, uh, problem being in the chat. Go check out, go check him out. Uh, and as I said, if you're looking for anybody to do some work, he would be the guy. I would recommend to you, and he's a friend of everybody's in the fandom as well, actually. So, yeah, check him out. Right, good night, guys. I'll leave you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>